Okay. Okay. All right. It is. It's June first, so I'm actually in Steamboat, and tonight is the opening of the um, Oil Painters of America exhibit, and when they announce the awards. So I've been here all week and painting and hiking and talking to people and lounging by the pool and going to a presentation here and there, but um, this, this new reality is setting in where I am the, I, I don't need to absorb so much information about how to, how to do things, how to make more success, how to sell paintings or um, things like that. It's, it's, it's a, it's not like a, I know everything already. It's more like a, I'm, I'm good. I'm really good where I am. And so um, leading up to coming here, I, I got into this um, excitement, this really calm excitement about going. And that was a familiar old feeling that had left for a while. So it felt really good for that to come back, that um, conventions weren't something to dread and and lots of people and and obligations to attend that just evaporated and i was excited about going and telling people about the circles and feeling a real connection with how the circles work with the more traditional art and i knew coming up here that i was leaving this very scarcity minded valley and going to a place which is full of money, money everywhere up here. And it's lush and it's green. And, and I, it's amazing how much of an impact that has on a person, that those resistances evaporate when you're, surround, when you're in an energy that is about abundance. And so that was very clear about how the valley affects my perceptions and what I believe reality is. And so I expect that I'm going to be able to take this abundant energy to back home with me and feel it regardless of what's going on around me. Because that was something that I was really getting clear about too, of how much I'm absorbing everyone else's energy and assuming that it's mine, everyone else's feelings. And so that had already been um, getting more sorted out. And, and I, felt, I felt like I resonate better with that abundance energy that, that exists here in Steamboat and there's no reason that I can't just live in it. So as I've been meeting people, the, the conversation automatically drifts towards the circles because I have, um, I have one on my, the back of my easel and I have my cards and people are really more curious about those than even though they, came to the event for the traditional art, they're surprised that they're interested because they, they have this feeling of, well, representational art is valuable. Being able to, having that skill to be able to render what we see is valuable. But I've been able to explain to them that there are things we can't see, but now you can because I put it on paper and that's just really landed well with people who 
even the ones who aren't normally into spiritual things. And I have a, a waiting list of people when I get back uh, who want circles. And Scott has already made my um, website devoted to the soul circles. We have a set price, four fifty. We're we're saying that um, for the time being, it's a special at three hundred. And these are all the attributes of the of the circles. These are the things it it can do for you if you allow it and you devote your um, attention to it. And and it's a giving and receiving relationship between a person and their circle, just as it is in um, our bodies and our soul. So you get out of the circle what you put into it, and even more so, you you. It, it multiplies as it comes back to you. Um, and in this abundance scenario, this abundance um, location, it's surprising how many people are feeling something missing. So that was really interesting to know that I am loaded with this valuable currency even in this place where I live that is all about scarcity. I'm loaded with the currency that people in an abundant situation are lacking. And I didn't understand just how much that was a persistent, um, a consistent situation for, for people who have plenty of money to be, um, in an expensive hotel and buy art and go home to a multi-million dollar home or maybe their second home, they are lacking a very basic currency that I have an abundance. And that just like blew open my world that, that I can offer that that I am, I've been given the gift of being able to offer that connection so that it could be that in the future, these people with massive amount of money abundance could start tapping into their soul and doing things with that money that is better for the whole instead of just trying to fill up that emptiness that they they feel they don't have. So that just feels so fulfilling. And the, the circles are like, they're happy. I'm happy. I, I have, um, I've already been paid for 10 of them to be done when I get back um, at the higher price. And I feel like I'm doing good for the world. So it's definitely win, win, win. And, and I'm really excited to bring this feeling back to the valley and see what happens with that. I feel like it's going to start raining, just raining, raining, raining when I get back. And things are going to bloom and grow and be green. And... Not that it had, not that I did it, but just being open to that. So that's me. Wonderful. Yeah, that was fun. Good. Good. I have ideas, so I'm going to super okay. quick. Okay. How long? Um, four. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. So we just come back from Steamboat from the um, oil painters convention and she has 10 circles to make. And um, it's been really interesting to see this whole transformation. One of the folks that came to her um, was a mother who like the mother daughter relationship that she wants to mend with like a circle for her and a circle for her daughter. And um, 
they've talked about things like jewelry that they could put this on as well and how this could solidify the whole mother daughter situation or another person said that, you know, they have like a, a soul friend out there that who has died. And so we, she's been in touch with Rita about, you know, how can I better honor this friend who has died um, with something, a beautiful piece of art. And so it's kind of gotten a little more legs too with like the whole aspect of healing and relationship and um, people are willing to invest in those things that actually heal them and heal their relationships and, and heal their homes. And um, because yeah, they do have a, a scarcity of that healing currency going on. They may have a lot of money, but very little time to spend with loved ones or to spend with the homes that they enjoy and many times the first thing that people see in their homes that they've purchased is their art. And so there's a, there's a quiet collector movement going on with these soul circles. And um, as people, you know, come to see a soul circle that someone's put on their wall, matted framed themselves or through Rita, um, someone else wants one because they, not only is the circle the art that's being transferred, but it's the story of the circle. It's the story of like how we create intention, how, yes, there is realism, but like there's a realism in seeing what, what a soul can look like. And so how does that representationalism work? And so that's an angle that Rita has kind of gotten into the art community with her. Her community is that we have a realism of the natural world that we see through our eyes, but what about the realism of the, of the terrain of the soul? <coughs> and then we can come and see that, that terrain of the soul be made real. Um, and Rita even talks about how the, how the pastels create even amongst themselves, the, the, the space needed for an etheric realist feel of something that is more nebulous, like an energy of a nebula or an energy of a soul or an iris of a soul, you know, and how that would look. And so even like folks who have like astronomer husbands or scientist wives have really gotten into this because they, they are starting to see a realist, a real representation of the things that they study and um, that also helps them heal and creates this currency of abundance for them too. Of, um, you know, my soul circle is kind of like a nebula that I study. So um, it's, it's those conversations too that Rita has around the circles that bring about these ideas that not only are they soul circles for souls and healings, but they expand our consciousness and they span, expand relationship with the people that they love. They expand the relationship with, um, you know, people who have passed on, animals who have passed on. She gives suggestions of people to like have free reign to use this, use this for cups, use this on postcards, use it on t-shirts and people use them and they feel the effects. And so they just, they feel the whole abundance of it. And $450 is a small price to feel that abundant. Ooh, yes. They're like back here going, yeah, what, what's the deal? Let's, <laughs> yeah, I just feel, okay, I gotta stop devaluing them. Yeah. I hear mm -hmm. you. <laughs> yeah, I hear them too. That's nice. Yeah. That's what Maya's saying as well over here. Mm, so. Right. Don't you get it? Don't you get what's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> what's mm. money? We got it all going on. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. And just the idea that we have that scarcity in our mind. Mm -hmm. so. And yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Didn't think that's what these circles would teach you. I know. I know. Cool. There's, well, it's the scarcity thing about, like you said, 
in the spiritual community of I need to be more humble, I need to be more giving. A lot of people on the planet need that, but certain of us really need to be willing to be given to. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's a huge, that's just like a recurring theme for me. I just keep getting smacked. Stop giving it all away. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. All right. Very Come on. good. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So was that nine minutes for you that you did? Mm-hmm. All right. I got to think of what I'm going to do. Okay. We'll just do it on traveling again. Okay. All right. Good. <clears throat> so it is um, May of 2019, and I just turned 50 years old, um, feeling really good about life, and um, really don't feel or look any different than I did at 48 or 49 or 47. Well, I lost weight from 47, but um, so I feel about the same. I feel really vital. I feel really happy. Um, Last year, I came right back from a trip, um, my, my cosmic sabbatical, my I Quit tour, and um, had a lot of interesting mixed feelings about that, about where I would travel next or what I would do. And um, I've kind of come to learn that um, all I really need is if I have a home base, it doesn't matter if I have a roommate or it doesn't matter if my home base is somewhere temporary. If I have a home base, with a few things that are comfortable, I can do my coaching from a home base, I can travel, I can have the internet. Um, I found interesting ways to save money to travel, to, to actually treat myself more. So even if I decided to like how I could like, it wasn't scarce for me to like maybe get a roommate and, and reduce half of my rent. You know, even Cedar Rapids or Northfield. Um, and I feel like wherever I live, I can do that so that I can use that extra money to either save or pay down debt or whatever, but I can also use that money to actually travel and treat myself, which really feeds me. And so it's kind of my travel budget. And it seems to like whenever I travel and whenever I come back from somewhere, I have new ideas and I have new plans and new things. I've had to learn that resistance comes everywhere, you know? So, I tend to do smaller traveling pieces like weekends, three, four days, five days at the maximum because 12 days got to, gets me into a big resistance. So, but five days, no big deal. I can come back to wherever I am. And um, I tend to like these like smaller, more frequent travel times because I can see more people throughout the year. I can reach more people. I'm not as tired. And um, it's, it's more me because I'm kind of like, I like the homebody feeling and then I like the travel feeling. So it's, um, it feels good to be able to do that. And so I've gone and traveled to see some of the folks that I've seen last year. We've broken up, I've broken up trips and um, have gone down to Arkansas again. Um, that was easy to come to my folks place and go to Arkansas six hours. I've, um, I've met up with Rita in Omaha. It's kind of between us. Um, and I've done some other things, um, you know, I've flown places because I saved money and I've, um, <clears throat> just dedicated myself to being a little more of a traveler, but also understanding my limits and understanding the idea of a home base. So, um, and whatever that means to me. And so I, I'm also open to that being evolving and changing because, um, as I grow and change and as my, you know, family situation changes or um, where my living situation changes, I know that I'm, I just need to be flexible to allow that to change. And um, if I allow myself the flexibility now that I'm not going to have any drama the last time. So it's this micro movement of, of change. So, um, and if I don't like one thing, I can change it again. So that's helped a lot, especially with the travel thing, knowing that I love traveling and seeing people. And I realized that travel is not about the place. It's more about the people that I see. It's not about the books that I bring along the two um, that I like say that I'm going to read while I relax because that never happens. So I bring one book along and that's usually doesn't get read maybe one chapter, 
because I'm busy talking to people. I'm busy interacting personally, which is a lot better to me than just hiding away and reading a book. So that's what it felt like to me, like thinking I had to hide away to read a book. And um, now travel is more personal and it's more getting me out of my shell and, and back in that space where I can float between the introvert Scott and the extrovert Scott rather than always be the introvert Scott. And it feels really good because I mean, people are getting to know me personally again, you know, before they used to know me as like the second half of this person in a relationship. And so now they're getting to know me again. Um, and I don't have to just be quiet and like let something else happen from, you know, the other person in a relationship. So, um, so that's one thing that traveling helps me do. I, I, I actually spend more time talking to people and it's an exercise and I, sometimes challenge myself just to talk to more people, to get to know them. There's this place too that I visited again um, in Missouri that I traveled to last year. Um, it is called Pleasant Hill. And so I decided to find a place to stay there um, in South of Kansas City. And I didn't get to go through it on the way back the last time last year, but I'm, I'm going again to Pleasant Hill just because I really liked the town when I passed through. And so I'm just gonna see what happens. Um, I have another friend in Kansas City that I wanna see. And I'm just going to stay in Pleasant Hill and we'll see what happens just as a, a fun challenge for me. Um, other things are doing well. Um, Cosmic Landing Pages is doing well. Adding people, um, the, they like the small chunks. 350 is nothing for them to, to worry about, to pay. They get to like talk to me for an hour. We build a business in an hour through a conversation. They send me their information. Um, I put together a landing page. We have another round of edits and it's better than me charging for an hourly price for this because this is just a service and it's, you know, there's like three steps and they can be as fast as they want with the three steps or as slow as they want, but it's just three steps. And once they make the payment, they make the payment and here's the process. So people are a lot more comfortable with that. I'm a lot more comfortable with that. 350 is, is minor for a great, page landing page that can include video and include you know links to your, your facebook or anything that you want and and people can buy like four hours of time for me later on if they want to expand this or do something else so but it's been a great way to kind of just meet more people it's expanded my business a little bit more in smaller incremental chunks so it's it's nice i i like these projects where i get in i process and i get out and we have a finished product you know, in a relatively small amount of time. So it doesn't feel like it's lingering on. Things stay fresh. I can even like just develop a landing page template and all of a sudden someone comes in who wants one and I've, I already have it ready for them. So it's just the price. And I don't have to worry about creating things from scratch every time. So I have like about 10 separate templates that I can just tweak and change and make color changes if people want. And, um, it's a lot easier that way and a lot faster and I feel like it's more fulfilling. And like I've said in the past, it's just like an easel. I can pull something off the shelf and modify, which that I've already created. So I might have an idea for a cottage food business and I'll just create a cool landing page and then, you know, someone, or maybe I'll just say that I've had that on the Casper Landing Page blog. I'm like, I'm just experimenting with this with cottage food. And all of a sudden someone steps forward and saying that would be perfect for me, my mom, my cousin, whatever. And so um, the more I create and the more I just show up, the more these things have, um, you know, people to pay attention to. It's just like when I travel, the more I just talk to people, the more I'm open to just being in the space rather than just being quiet. And, and um, although I love quiet, um, but rather than just being resistant quiet out of like, you know, just like kind of hiding quiet. So the dark side of hiding quiet. There are times I really like to hide. Um, but it's been a lot of fun the last year and I don't even feel 50 and I'm glad. So I just hope that, um, you know, I'm still like in this transition, like with my folks and where I'm living, but traveling is helping me to realize that my, my permanent location is going to land wherever it lands. Good. Ooh.
Yeah. Sometimes you gotta keep talking and it's, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. I know. Those little five, last five seconds often give you things. You're like, oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, the, bu the buzzer goes off and then you have all these things to say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I have some ideas. All right. So Scott has um, spent the year traveling a bit, um, sorting out. Uh, getting really comfortable in um, what its business is and um, just getting really comfortable with traveling and what that's all about. And, and so any anxiety that was coming up because travel had become kind of unusual, that that's all evaporated. And um the the connections that you have made during the year the the travel feeds you and you have decided that having a roommate is um not about saving money but it's something that will feed you more so you have found the perfect roommate he's he's gone at set times so you you know what you're in for and um, there is, uh, or she, I don't even know, maybe it's a she. Um, they are, they, they have their schedule. They are um, very much about making the home space a wonderful feeling place. And so you feel really good about leaving your home base in their hands. And you, um, you, know, you are just taking shorter trips that um, they're as long as they need to be. And, and they're about visiting people and making connections and, and being a personal personal back and forth feeding of the soul. Um, so that, that's, and that whole idea of needing to save money for travel is not even a thing anymore for you because it's, it's part of the business. It's part of life. It's, it's just part of the budget. It's um, like groceries. So um, you are a resident of the planet. So you're going to go experience more of your rooms in, on the planet. And um, the Cosmic Landing Pages community has developed at a rate that has been perfect for what needs to go on and what you manage and you are um, looking at virtual assistance to help um, really all of us that are associated with the, the Cosmic Landing page, page site and some of the people who got the basic um, Cosmic Landing page have now abandoned that or brought it over into a whole individual site for themselves at the higher price because having that initial page on our site just helped them get really clear and and expanded their business so they need to be linked to us so there's like mutual advertising going on between the businesses that you have created pages for and um, ours. Good. That seemed like quick. It. it was fast. So mm -hmm. good, good. All right. Hmm. I'll have to watch this. That's a lot of good stuff. Yep. Good. I'm going to stop our recording. So. Okay.